Good morning. Oh, it's 8 20 in the morning. It's 8 20 in the morning. It's 8 20 in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Sunday morning. Yes, it's hot sun, but the humidity's down today. I'm talking a little loud to go cover the road noises that you get in the camera sometimes the, the audio block chops up a little bit when you're driving. We're in the Jewett City Flea Market once again. That's the second Sunday in a row. We have no idea if we're going to buy anything and what we are going to buy is going to be very limited because we don't have much money. The story of my life. Oh, the cops got somebody pulled over. See that? Cop got somebody pulled over. Probably texting and driving. They deserve it. They deserve a ticket. All right, we'll see you at Jewett City Flea Market. So don't go away. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a Coca-Cola, a root beer float, a banana split, or a glass of water. And we'll see you down at the Jewett City Flea Market in Jewett City, Connecticut. Hang in there. Okay, folks, we're on our way to um, Jewett City Flea Market. Just about maybe a mile down the road here, if even that. Like I say, I'm talking a little loud to cover over the uh, road noises, and I got my window open today. So, uh, on the left-hand side, we're coming up on it very, very soon, and when we get there, uh, we'll let you know. Stay tuned. All right, up here on the left-hand side is the familiar sight for all of us. The Jewett City Flea Market. It's a long building here, but the flea market is not up at this end. Oh, I hope they got a lot of vendors today. Should have. Yeah, we were here last week, and we're here again this week. So, we're going to find a place to park, and we'll join you when we park. Ours didn't have the glass, the glass but it was right. all metal, yeah. Right, but I right. do remember them things. Yep. Huh? Bring back the memories of when I was a kid. <laughs> all right. What's the water pound? Get your foot in water again. Tone guitar tone. <laughs> nice, nice guitar though. Rod, what do you think Rocky's real life story though? Nice. I don't have the room for this. The 78, turntable's all wobbly. The 78 only, strictly AM. Nice set though. Uh, Octal tubes, of course, naturally it would be. Right. If I had my shop in the attic still, I would definitely buy it if the price was right. If the price was right. 
Mickey Mouse, M I C K E Y M O U S E. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if they call that a shutter dial or what. Yeah. Uh, Bill Morris had one of these sets when he had his shop in New London. Oh, they've got a lot of water in there. A lot of rust and corrosion. Zenith shutter dial, I believe they call it. Wow. <laughs> I've seen this one. This was here before. Yeah, that's... I mean, they're not very pretty sets. Uh, a lot of radios, yeah. though, huh? Yeah. All this stuff is up at Manfield. And, uh, you're recording, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure there's a lot of viewers that say, why don't you buy that? Why don't you buy that? <laughs> I don't have the room, guys. AM. That's a weird looking radio. Yeah, it's not very pretty. Sun is hot. Yes. Chassis down here. Radio schematic. Model D50. Not really too bad either. Yeah. Go right down the highway. When you go to Ocean Beach, you're going down through New London. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The sun is cooking me here. Yeah, I don't have the room for this stuff anymore. It's almost like one you got. Yeah, no, it's not it's not the same. I have room for tiny things like this, but I don't have room for it. Oh. Radio Wild would love this. What is it? Wave magnet for Zenith Transoceanic. <laughs> Zenith shortwave magnet. I bet you he'd say, you should have bought that. Well, Bob, I don't have room for it. That's a nice one. Yes, it's nothing. Is that antique? Nothing. No. Oh. Not, well, it's old, but yeah. I wouldn't call it anything special. Sun's cooking my back of my neck. <laughs> you and your radios. <laughs> Antique crane. Need that? Recording that, Tom? Yeah. I'm going to have a truck sale. I can't. Those bills on there. That's a nice radio. Let's hang it out. All right, let's go over here. Oh, let's check over here. These things aren't too pretty. I'm not, I don't really care for these type of radios. These are, these are probably one volt tubes. I'm guessing. That's just an ordinary boom box. Oh, nice. Stuff. CB, uh, walkie-talkie, portable, film camera, Kodak. Uh. That's a Odie. Yeah. Yeah. I hope people do collect them. All right, let's go down here. There was one movie they made Carved there. out of wood, it looks like. Friend of her is... Chainsaw. The Bengals visit, gave her a dress. She had the dress on. 
Yeah. Okay. Put the ties in where it fit next to the water. Guys in grabbed it, pulled the dress right off, and she jumped in the water, and they're both swimming under water. She was totally nude. But they had to blot it out, and years later they put it back in. And back in, you could sew something. Yeah. And then she, gets, she comes out back to where she was sitting. She comes out, and she's trying to stick her head out of water. She's looking at Cheetah. Cheetah, give me that dress. Cheetah said, no, 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 no. You want it? You come out. <laughs> I thought that was cute when Cheetah said that. He says, He's shaking his head. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, you don't get it. Mm -hmm. Probably a busted tablet. You got one now? I know it. Yeah. I, I don't think it. anybody's used that. It's a Kindle. Because I plugged it in and it shows, put your account number in that to start it up with. It's, it's brand new. I don't think anybody's even used it. How much? 20 bucks. Mm, I don't need it that bad. I've got to turn, I got. I turned it on for a man before yeah, when I was just I, here. Yeah. It came right on. Yeah. Cause I got a nook. I don't have a Kindle. Yeah. I didn't come on before. Maybe right there. See? Yeah. And then uh, I don't know. There. Yeah, see? When well, you know, it shows, see, it's it really They're works. They're like a reader. Yeah. yeah. It works. Yeah. There's everything. Yeah, I charge it a little bit with my charger at home. Yeah. They just put it in this case. I got this. Uh, uh, house that I, I watch and she says I don't need it. I didn't use it so I said okay I'll take it. Yeah 20 is now. We don't really That's a deal that. for because they're yeah. expensive. Yeah. Okay. Just think about it. Okay. But oh. it's nice. It's nice. Oh, oh. oh nice catch. Nice catch. <laughs> hey, we don't need to be. Thank you. Probably wants a fortune for it. I don't know, I can ask him. Ask him, but I guarantee you he wants a couple hundred bucks for it. What do you want? 75 from my bottom. 75, Tom, but you ain't got no room for it. Not bad. Of something. My wife told me I got to get rid of it. Your wife told you to get rid of it, huh? Yeah, I like that car. That's a nice guitar. Yeah, he's got a Fender. But uh, Silvertone doesn't sound like a brand name to me, though. Oh, Silvertone's actually just coming back. It used to be the old Sears and Roblox ones. Yeah. But now um, China took it over, and they're coming out with pretty good Silvertone guitars. Yeah. But still got the plastic on the pick card, if you notice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't think about it, Tom, but we don't have horns. Toot, 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 toot. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. We're inside the uh, Jewett City Flea Market snack area here where they sell hot dogs, donuts, coffee, soda, a little of everything. Um, it's about, what, 10 o'clock this morning now, is it? About 10? 10 o'clock, yeah. 10 o'clock. Well, it's too early for a hot dog. We're not going to get a hot dog anyways. We won't be here that long. The building is awful, awful hot. Unless you're standing inside, uh, in front of a fan, it's brutal. Uh, it's a terrible hot day, but the humidity is supposed to be a little lower, but you couldn't convince me of that. Um, for my Dr. Flatno skit, I was looking for a uh, candlestick telephone. But, uh, they're outrageous high price on eBay. 
and I've never seen one at a yard sale, but I did buy a, a vintage wall phone, rotary dial wall phone that's out in the car, and I'll show you that later, for five bucks, which would probably work good in that skit, because uh, I have some ideas on that Dr. Platinum skit. Anyways, there's a vendor upstairs in the building here, and we got a whole bag of stuff that they're throwing out, with the exception of this radio here, which I bought, and I asked the lady, how much is it? She says, well, I don't know if it works. It's a bell and owl. Um, and she says, I bought a buck. So I took a chance at a dollar, and the dial cord works. Not that I really need it, but for a dollar, I, I got it. Everything else was in the junk pile, and she says, help yourself. Everything here is going to get thrown out. So, computer cord, uh, regular telephone cords, you know, the long ones. I got a few of those, different colors. Uh, stereo, eight inch, mail to mail extension, probably shielded. Uh, another telephone cord. It, uh, the, it was one of these big plastic bins, and it was so full of stuff, it's hard to pick out. And I would just went into a spruce profusely up there. I can't take this lousy weather. I'm telling you, I hate it. So I couldn't get everything I wanted. I got that for free. Uh, yeah. Extension cable. I spotted cable. this, and I said, Tommy, you're probably looking for a USB extension cable. Brand new. Short one, but that's fine. These are handy to have when you plug in your camcorders and transferring data over, rather than to keep plugging it in and out of the USB port on the computer. Um, and a wall charger. A Belkin wall charger. You never have too many of these. Uh, this is the brand name. You can get these at uh, stores like Five Below for $5, but they're made in China. This here is a Belkin. So if it's made in China, it's a better quality. And a, um, not that I need it, but a two megapixel webcam. But if it needs the drivers, I'm not gonna be able to. It's a Logitech. I'm not gonna be able to make it work. But for two bar, I mean for nothing. Everything that you see here is free except this I paid a dollar for. So she gave me a bag because I bought this. <laughs> so we're cooling off here. There's a fan in the window down at the end of the row of tables here. And uh, we're just trying to cool off. I, I just can't take this thing. Awful, awful, awful weather. I wasn't going to go up here this week. And I got these games here outside. He's got some games that he paid a good price for. Um, he got them cheaper than what the prices show here. These are Game Boy things. He likes these things. Why, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you the telephone later on. And you've seen us walk around a little bit. We didn't do anything in the building because it's pretty much the same stuff. There was a few other items in here, but nothing that worth videotaping. And it was so hot in the building here, it's just terrible. It's worse on the second floor where these items were than it is on the first floor. You know how that is. The higher up you go, the hotter it is. Okay, I'm going to finish my coffee, and drinking coffee makes me sweat even more. <laughs> And maybe more, I'll show you the phone before we leave. Stay tuned. All right, let's show you what we picked up. Now, you've already seen the stuff in the bag, but you have not seen the vintage phone. What I wanted is a desk phone for the skit that I want to do, but this was only $5. And very heavy. But the dial, like all of them, it don't work. So, this would look neat hanging in the shed. And it would have to be in the main shed because I don't have any wall space at all. 
in the workshop. So this was my second choice. The ideal phone I wanted to get, which they didn't have, and if they did, they'd probably be a hundred dollars anyways, is a candlestick phone. You can't touch them for under a hundred bucks. Which for doing a skit is ridiculous. Even if I could afford it, which I can't. And this, the guy wanted 20, then he came down to 15. Battery charger, trickle 2 amp, 12 amp charge, and 50 amp start. He said it's brand new, he guaranteed it. You just come back, and we'll give you money back if it don't work. So $15 for that. So I think I did pretty good on that. I've got a battery charger, but it's a 10 amp max. So that's all we bought. We showed you the things already in the bag. Oh, this is the shortest we've ever been at this place. One hour from the time we got here to the time we're leaving, one hour. It's, we've never stayed an hour. We've always spent at least two hours here. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm going home and sitting in front of the air conditioner.